Welcome back. So, if you're confused what you're looking at right now, this is the underside of the headstock, and you've got a little bit better view than me, but I need to drain the oil out of this. I wanted to get the rest of the control levers off of the front of this, but as soon as I, there's at least two of them that as soon as I pull them off, we're just going to be dripping oil everywhere anyway. So, it's... Seems like a good time to get this taken care of. So let's grab that kit here of all our hex drivers. Let's see, that is way too small. Let's jump up to 3 8 maybe. Nope, a uh, half inch. I think that might fit, but it's kind of grimy. Huh. It's kind of rounded in there. Let's try the next 7 16th size down. Yeah, 7 16th is loose. And no, this isn't going to be metric from US made machine in 1950. That is, unless somebody decided to replace it with a metric bolt for some reason. Or, no, oh, it's half inch. It's just, I, I guess maybe I can't see well enough to realize that it's not a hex bolt. Let's grab. Oh, come on. Uh, yes, ought to fit in there nicely. Oh yeah, perfect fit. Every time. Okay, just get this loosened up and then make a big mess. Oh. Okay, you ready for this? I've got a bucket down below. Oh, oh, feeling it drip. And there we go. Ooh, that oil doesn't actually look too bad, considering how old this is, so I'm guessing there's probably swapped out the oil sometime recently. Oh, there, oh, that's fun. Uh, remember what I said about making a big mess? More than I even realized. Oh well. Yes. Oh, and there's one other issue here is my garage is not exactly level and we're uh, everything's kind of draining towards the other direction inside the headstock. And there's only one bolt to drain this out so I'm still going to end up with a ton of oil in the bottom there. Is unfortunate, but that should at least uh, clean up, uh, clear it up for some of these components to come out, and then we'll have all the control arms off of it, and I can start pulling the gearing out from underneath the headstock or the spindle, because yeah, that spindle's still not coming out yet, and it. Uh, it's rubbing up against those gears right now, and I don't want it to get damaged either scratching it or scuffing up the headstock or damaging any of those gear teeth while I try to keep getting this out. And in the end, I might not end up taking the spindle out if I if it's too much trouble. I really wanted to get in and check that bearing in the front, but I'll I'll have to pass it up if I can't. All right. Let's uh, stop that here and get you inside the headstock. Uh, well, it's just as well that I'm getting into there because there might be still some bits of uh, crud and rust in the bottom. This uh, plug it looks not too great. 
But uh, if I can get everything cleaned out of here, then that'll fix that. So looking at this, there's a couple, there's a couple collars holding this in place. Oh yeah, I've got a. I accidentally was pushing this around a little bit earlier, and I am relatively certain there was a ball bearing on one end of this indexing on the front plate here. So. Unfortunately, that ball bearing's missing, but I mean, it's a single ball bearing. They're pretty darn cheap, so. Put that in the rust for now. All right, uh, I think we'll give it another go with this main feed direction gear here. So. <clears throat> See, and that's the problem is right now this is hitting up against our feed gears and I don't want to damage any of that. Looks like our big side's over here. So it's uh it just needs to rotate a little bit. No, that's all the way Ooh. over. Okay, so let's uh Find a good suitable punch here. Get our big hammer and uh, that's none of room there with a the big hammer. Get a small metal hammer. Ah. Uh, it's not a lot of good room here. Maybe maybe it would be better to pull off this other lower lever room. Maybe we can get at it here. Whew. Might end up needing to start the large punch because that's not budget. No. Yeah, that, that got it to move just ever so slightly. Oh, oh there we go. Like nothing. It's uh, well, that handle does not want to come off. against the maximum angle of rotation and this will pop it right off there and gently for the last bit okay yeah that's in good condition let's uh get our pin back so we don't lose that all right now onto this one uh, this that is not going to help us at all and also this is a little bit bent get that straightened out just a tad let's see if we can get this started this one might be one of our harder ones to get to. Not just because of location, but just I think this one had a decent amount of rust on it. Yeah, that's definitely the smaller side that I'm hitting up against there. Uh, let's try our our center punch here. See if we can Get that started. Oh. Well, it doesn't seem to be moving it. That's just if I 
get a little bit too far here, I'm just going to mushroom out the this side of the pin. Not going to make it any easier for me. Okay, that uh, did not move it. Okay, there we go. Two down, set that pin there, and let's get something to gently start prying this. This one's, there's definitely some rust up in here because it never wanted to move. Yeah, oh, that's, that's all sorts of bad. Ugh. Yeah, this one's going straight into the Vaporus too. Ah, oh, this handle's just giving me a lot more trouble than I thought. You can see also I was talking about how rusted up this is, so that'll be nice to clean up. The upper one was a little bit rusty too, but I've, like, all the visual surfaces here that I could access before, I've already taken a wire wheel to to clean up. But yeah, this, uh... This one pin does not want to move. It budged a little bit, and I can see that it is coming out the other side. But, uh, did I get it wrong? I mean, if it budges easily the other direction, then I did get it wrong. Yeah, that's not coming out any easier that way. Huh. Uh. Oof, oof. All right, with that now off, should be able to do this gently. Start working this out. Well, hopefully. <laughs> hey, we've got it spinning around. I <sighs> wonder if the end there is a little bit. Mushroomed out. Should make this a lot harder. does not want to come off there. Let's see if we keep rotating around while pulling on it if we're gonna make progress. And we do, okay, so that'll come off. Didn't wanna make this easy, did it? All right, there we go. There. One more down and rusty. And you get to go. Okay, so we've got this here. Has a pin in either side and it looks like yeah, it should come out pretty quick. This side is clearly the large side. And then we have got bushing back here with... I think that's just a hex head screw in there. So... Back to our hex bits. Let's start with this 330 seconds, see if that fits. Sorry if you can't see much in here. Oh, I can't even see much in here. That's definitely too big. Oh, sorry, too small. Eighth of an inch. Okay, eighth does it. Uh, huh. I don't think I actually have an extension for that. Uh, 
little those little sockets. Maybe I can get this just enough in here. Okay, yeah, that was just enough in there to loosen it up. Okay, and take that off. Yeah, you're some of this you're not gonna be able to see, and it's just the way it is. Okay, I'm just gonna back this set screw all the way out just so I don't lose it in the oil there. And you go onto the board. All right, that should allow this to move a bit. Yep, and now we just need to get this pin out. Ah, it's hitting up against that, that's why. Huh, actually can't really tell for certain which side this goes. It's, uh, to my punch comparison method. I think this is actually our small side, so might not want to I don't want to hit it this way because it's going to start driving against there. Unless we get uh, it's a Okay, now we're moving. And let's see if this, I'm gonna use a longer, thin punch. Let's see if I can get it to, see if I can get this longer, thin punch to just drive it out the rest of the way. Oh, that is just gonna come out. Let's, uh, speaking of just gonna come out, <laughs> oh, that'll be fun fishing around for that. Get this shaft pushed all the way though. <clears throat> yeah, I don't think this is gonna go anywhere, so I think it's gonna be just trying to get those castle nets off. I was able to get the castle nets off of this front piece here, so you see it's a bit loose. Uh, it's not on bearings or anything, but this whole gear assembly is part of the same shaft and it can't move past one of the this other gear here so I can't get it out until I get this one so I've got the pin right here I just need to get underneath the tab on this castle nut and then Oh, finally, that's oh, it was way too tight in there. So that's just nicely coming undone in there. You won't be able to see it like usual, but I'm gonna drop that. Yeah, I'm gonna drop that nut in there. And the flashlight. Good thing it's water resistant. <laughs> I'm not actually sure how uh, resistant to water that flashlight is, but hey, they're dollar store flashlights, you know? Let's see, get that washer and uh, get that. Oh. I'm going to set that washer aside so I don't drop it again. And I uh, need to get those bearings. I should be able to get this out now. No, not quite. Get this. Hmm. Well, am I hitting against that? I don't think so. Come on. There we go. That 
bearing in the back doesn't want to come out. And this. It's almost there. Why will that not come up more? That just slides on there. This has not been budging at all. I didn't miss anything on here, did I? No, it's just a... There's just a bearing here, so... Oh, there goes the bearing up the other side. And... Oh, there's one more bearing. Might need to just move it in stages. Hold on to that. It is like 90% of the way out. I do not know what's blocking it. Definitely <laughs> comes out this way, but not easily. <clears throat> oh, it's almost there. It's loosening up. <sighs> Those are moving good. Uh, I think what it is is they have uh, the bushing packing on the inside here to prevent the oil from leaking. And it just doesn't want to come out. So I'm just gripping onto the shaft and rotating it to get it to move. There's no one to come any further. Yeah, everything from the drawings, the shaft shouldn't shouldn't be something difficult to pull out. Finally, yeah, I still look at this. I have no clue why it was so tough to get out, but uh... Oh, I got a bush in there or a bearing there still. Yeah, just looking at this. It's All I've got over here is a roller bearing and a race it goes into and it was rolling just fine and yeah, so I guess I'm gonna need to Tap that bearing off Uh, it's nice tight fit on there. Oh, we've got both of our gears loosened off. And just for the bearing does. There we go. And it's needed to get off of the top of the shaft there. So yeah, if you look at this, just a little bit of a shoulder there that the bearing rode on. It seems still good condition, so didn't damage it. But <clears throat> oh, I think that's enough for me today. It's got about everything I can get out of this now. Figure out some other way of getting the that uh, main gear off the spindle. It's staying in there. I've 
tried everything I can think of with all the tools I have. So I even tried uh, putting a bolt in between, or I'll give a visual. So I put a bolt in here with a nut and used it kind of like a jack to try and push these apart, pushing right up against the inside of the gear there. And that didn't get it to budge either, so I just I just don't really think there's anything I have that I can, any of the tools I have that will be able to get this to move, so. All right, well, thank you for watching. Bye.